Hey guys, so today we are doing this makeup look with some purple lips. And just stick around and find out how I did this. So I'm going to be facially nude in about four, three, two, one. I am facially nude, facially naked. So let's just get right into it because it is hot, hot, hot. And I have millions of, well, I have two lights on me and it's hot. All right, so since we're doing a summer makeup tutorial and it's gonna be hot and sweaty, which some of us already are, um, I've decided to go with the Angel Veil Primer from NYX, which has no oil in it. Apparently, it's oil free, and it's like it's not as thick as some of the other primers that I've used. Um, but it's not like a lotion. It's it still fills in pores, which is what I need, as well as you know keeping keeping the old makeup on. So then I'm going to go straight into eyeshadows because I, I'm doing kind of a darker look. It's not super dark, but it is a little. So I'm going to be using the Naked palette, and I'm going in with the light shade, um, Naked, also known as. Um, so I'm going to be looking down in this mirror right here, which you can't see. Um, so sorry if I'm looking away, but... So I have really... Oh, damn it. Okay, well normally I would use a primer on my eyes because they're very oily, but somebody was getting a little excited, it was me, and just went in without one. So I'm just going in with this all over, not necessarily in like any clean, nice type fashion, just kind of going in. I'm just using... Uh, Real Techniques base shadow brush doesn't really matter if it's blended at this point honestly um, because you're gonna put some other stuff all up in there so next I'm going with the Mac Cinderella palette and I'm going with Omega which is this one and just a little some random nameless uh, brush that just kind of fluffy and it's gonna go not in the crease, a little above. Okay. Maybe it is time for some blending up here. It went a little farther than I anticipated. I went a little too a little too excited there. It's like the theme of the day. It's a little too excited. It's not turning out like necessarily as dark as I wanted. So I'm gonna go in with Buck, which is the only other matte shade in the Naked palette. And that's a little darker. And I'm trying to go for more of a rounded shape because I notice when I like flick out, it just makes my eyes look even smaller and I've got little tiny baby eyes. I'm gonna go in with my 217 and just blend that because wow did I go little ham over there. You know, I always find that one eye always, no matter what I do, one eye will always just, will always look better. And I can't help it. And it's usually this eye. This is the eyebrow that I like better, but this is the eye that gets done better. So I'm going in again with a little bit of a cooler, this shade by MAC, which is Quarry. Because the other one was a little too, it was a little too rich and too orangey, which I didn't, wasn't about. Ah, a little spot that just, no matter what I do, will not blend. And it's showing up on camera right there. What is that? Why is that there? So then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Smoked Palette, which was, it was like $20 on Sephora, like right after Christmas. 
and pick that shit up real fast. And I'm just using this like light cream color. It's pretty much the color of my skin on a tan day maybe. And getting my brow bone a little bit so that this whole hot mess will hopefully blend a little more. You know when I said I was going to use this mirror over here but I'm just kind of using this. Um, and then I'm going to go in with back door which is oh they're all matte browns which is my favorite thing to wear on my eyes. This one's very very dark very like chocolatey almost but I'm just going in very lightly and getting the corners of my eyes done. No. But I'm just going to blend that a little bit. Take it a little bit up into the crease just to give it a little bit more darkness. It's a little bit darker but not a lot. Kind of blend in that dark. It's not blending as well as I'd hoped. This eye is not too bad. Again, this eye is a little bit of shithead. Okay. So, that spot's still there. Anyway, so now that the primer has had some time to sit and like sink into my flesh, I'm going to be mixing two foundations together to get like the right color because a little bit darker than this pale ass toilet face. Mm, let's call myself a toilet face. Oh well. I'm going to be mixing the Rimmel Wake Me Up. So I'm mixing that with a little bit of the Tarte Amazonian Clay full coverage foundation. So I'm going in with my Real Techniques complexion sponge and I'm just gonna dab and swipe a little bit depending on where I am on my face. So I do get a lot of redness in this area. So I'm gonna clean up this little section of my eyes a little bit. So it got away from me somewhat and go in All right, so that is the face done. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Um, so I'm just gonna go in a little bit over here and over here, and I get really dark circles. So this is nice because it like, <laughs> it's a cute look for me, um, because it really does brighten and it's really creamy, it's not thick. So I'm going in with the Real Techniques foundation brush and I find this is really nice to get in over here. And I'm not trying to highlight or do anything fancy just yet. I'm just blending this in. And I find that it's always nice to go in and clean up a little bit because Sometimes the eyeshadow just gets away from you, you know, like it did today. I'm um, just using a Tarte finishing powder. It's the Amazonian clay. I don't, I'll find it. I'll put it in the, everything will be in the down bar in the description box. So I'm going to go with the ColourPop blush. And it's this beautiful purple called Rain. And it's matte. So I find that I don't really like a lot of shimmer on my face during summer because I get really oily. Not cute. Um, I'm using this, what is this, this Eco Tools kind of dual fiber brush because these are actually very pigmented. And I don't like a lot of blush. I just like, you know, a little something, something. I like it to go up a little more because I have chubby cheeks. Um, I like to not contour but it gives my face a little more shape rather than just going in here where my face is the biggest I guess. And I might go in with some actual contour just to carve out my little cheekbones and bronze me up a little more. It's not very as you can see, it doesn't really show up super purple. It's kind of just like a hint, like a tease, like a little tease of blush. 
little teasy purple blush. So I'm going to powder with good old Rimmel Stay Matte. Nice and gross looking, looking like it's on its last leg, which to be honest it is. Just kind of going to go in with this Sephora brand bronzer. It's in Los Cabos. It's just matte because we're going to do a tiny bit of contouring and kind of just want to get my face a little warmer. All right, so that is that done. And then lastly for my face, I'm going to go in with this old, disgusting-looking Physician's Formula highlighter, which is really pretty, and I really like it. It's just translucent pearl. It's really nice. It just gives you a little subtle shimmer. And I'm just using a, what is it, Coastal Scents um, fan brush. Because if we're being honest, the rest of my brushes that are applicable for highlighter are dirty. Oh, and this is the NYX Micro Pencil in Taupe. Yeah. That looks okay. And then I'm just going to go the NYX Tinted Brow Gel, also in blonde. Okay, so now they're going to stay in place. Just got to do some brown eyeliner. Any brown liquid eyeliner will work. So just doing the little tiniest line and the little tiniest of flicks. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye, just a tiny bit of brown. <gasps> so I'm with a little bit of Omega and Quarry together. And now it's time for this baby. This is MAC Up the Amp, which is just the most beautiful, which you'll see. All right, so that has been my makeup tutorial on this summer fun summer look with purple lips purple cheek. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!